Um, uh, in 2017, we uh, did an interview with Neil Woodbridge from Thorough Lifestyle Solutions. I guess it was called Does He Take Sugar Part One? Um, we're talking about the, what were the appropriate terms uh, as he was a chief exec of, of, a, of a company with many clients with learning disabilities. Now, I've just interviewed um, Anna Smith Higgs uh, here, um, who is not a stroke victim. No, survivor. Survivor. Why? So I'm going to ask, because you know, I'm the king of asking stupid questions, but why is stroke victim unacceptable? Well, stroke victim is... Is a, a victim to me is somebody that's let that's let what happened to them crush them. Whereas I'm still surviving every day. I survive and I go through lots of challenges. Um, to be a victim, I think that means that you're beaten, and I don't feel like that. So uh, us members of the press, whether you're you know online newspapers or, or newspapers, whatever, that's one third start. Please don't use the term. Please stroke, don't know. Is there any ever coverage that sort of slightly winds you up? Oh. Do you want? How do you want us to? Like we've just conducted an interview, but how would you? How would you like people who are stroke survivors to be portrayed in the media? Oh, positively, mm -hmm. very positively. We're not all down and out and gloomy. Yes, we've lost one of our limbs or two of our limbs, and I've lost my eyesight as well. But you know, we we are still surviving. We're still making the most of what we of what we can do. And as I said before, you either sink or you swim, and I choose to swim. I don't want to sink down. But also from our point of view, whether you're a, a young trainee journalist or, or a, um, a veteran journalist, <laughs> um, don't be afraid to ask the questions. No, no, ask not me. Not going to snap our heads no, off? Ask me any questions you want to ask me and I, and I will answer them as honestly as I can. And I guess 10 years ago, you, you've used social media to a great extent. I yes. guess even the short history of the future, 10 years ago, you probably may not have been able to use these things. Has social media been a good benefit to you? Oh, a huge benefit. I can contact different, there's stroke survivors, different um, people, and I encourage people. I do a lot of work with sex and the disabled, um, even periods and strokes, because most people are on blood thinners. So p ask me any questions that you want, and I, and I will give you the honest answer. And that's an error as well. You've, you've twice mentioned, you know, uh, to do with sex, etc. Yeah. And, you know, 56-year-old male journalist is going, oh, my God. <laughs> you know, but lads, don't be afraid to ask. No, people need to know, to know these things, you know, that it, it's not something that should be pushed into a corner. If disabled people still have sex too. You know, they, they still want to live a healthy, a healthy sex life. Ask away.